Everyone's obsessed with the hacks for a better life. I mean, I've been as guilty as anyone else on the internet making content. There are so many ways you could change your life, but what really makes the biggest difference? Well, in this video, I wanna share the 10 minute ritual that I've been doing every day, probably for five or six years now, that is the absolute cornerstone of my daily routine for getting better. What's up you guys, Alex Hine here. So before we jump in, I've put together a free journaling worksheet for you right below this video. The first link is for a worksheet that will help you figure out how to get your life together, how to plan your dream life going forward, and how to really design an incredible life. So check it out right below this video here. So I wanna start with something very simple, is that it takes only an hour a day to change your life. You know, the new year is a perfect example. People who start to get fit, what do they do? They don't do anything realistic. They don't do anything that seems smart or deliberate. What do they do? They go to the gym for two hours a day or three hours a day, I've seen people. They get the pre-workouts, they get the supplements, they get all this junk and they ignore the one thing that matters, which is really consistency over time. Now I'm reminded of a story by one of my favorite self-growth authors, Earl Nightingale. Now Earl says that he once passed a bunch of steel workers during the Great Depression and the steel workers were all out of business. So they hadn't been working during the day for months or maybe years. Now, what he was saying is they were all complaining about there's not enough work, there's nothing to do, yada yada. And Earl went home and he thought, what were these guys doing for the last 20 years? Literally, in the last 20 years in their free time, they could have become open heart surgeons with the amount of free time they had. A couple hours a day or even an hour a day over 20 years. So in my opinion, it only takes an hour a day max to change your life. So you sure as hell can dedicate 10 minutes a day to doing one little thing that will make a difference. Now my opinion, getting 1% better a day, the easiest habit you can do for 10 minutes a day is reading. Primarily reading a self-growth book. So one of the examples that happened in my life was that after a bad breakup a few years ago, I decided that I wanted to consume everything imaginable towards being a better significant other. So I crowdsourced on my Facebook, my private Facebook, I said, hey, what were the marriage or relationship books that made the biggest difference in your life and impacted you? So I crowdsourced about 40 books and I went on Amazon and I bought the top 10. So I had about 50, the top 50 relationship, love and marriage books. After I got those books, I decided that every day I was gonna dedicate just 10 minutes to reading one of those books. And I would take notes. And by the time I finished each book, I would just put together a one page summary of that book. So at the end of the year, I had read probably about half those books, maybe 25 or 30 of them. And I had one page summaries of the top relationship books in the world. And by the end of that year, even though I was still single, I felt that I had a much better grasp of the things I had to work on and the things that I had to think of going forward in my life. And the next time I got into a relationship, it was much, much better this time around because I was a better person and I was not making the same mistakes choosing the women that I was dating. So for this kind of ritual, it could be something as simple as picking your number one goal, whether it's health or happiness or building a business and just consuming a resource for 10 minutes every morning and taking notes. So my process is typically as part of my morning routine and you guys have probably seen some of my other morning routine videos. As part of that morning routine, I'll sit down and I'll read 10 minutes of a book that can somehow change my life. So right now, you know, I'm going through Carl Jung's The Red Book and it's not quite a self growth book, but it's certainly uh, a profound mystical book, psycho-spiritual book, if I can call it that. And when I go through the book, just 10 pages a day, I'm just reflecting on what's landing with me. What is it? Am I feeling like there's something I have to do? Am I feeling like there's something I have to work on? So then I write some notes and then I keep it in a little notebook. And maybe the other day, you know, I'm going through Leonardo da Vinci, the biography. And I'm thinking, you know, oh, that's so interesting. I think these are some of the things that made the big difference between Leonardo da Vinci being the best he was and being famous hundreds of years later, like Tesla or Einstein or whoever throughout history, between that and the average person. So I'm thinking, okay, you know what? He combined many different topics and many different interests into one. So is there a way I can apply that in my life or in my business? So I use it to jog my memory for ideas and inspirations and specifically often ways I have to improve myself. So I wanna show you an example here with one book that was something I wanted to work on, which was personal finance. So this is a, an example of my one page summary for the book, The Millionaire Next Door. And what I do basically is I write down two columns, 
key point and the elaboration. So the punchline and what I can do or what I have to work on, that sort of thing. So for example, you know, he has what he calls prodigious accumulators of wealth versus under accumulators of wealth. And that's a big theme in this book. So I just write down the general notes for this book and what's just something I need to know. So the key point, the elaboration, what's the big idea? And then what are some key habits and key points in this book? Do they have questions? Do they have journaling prompts? Do they have things I really have to reflect on? So this is an example of what I call my one page summary. And I typically do this for every book that I read because chances are, if it's a good one, I wanna go back and read it later. So I put it together in a little one page summary like this. And just when I have this, I can refer back to it even years later without having to read that book again. So in my opinion, the simple ritual that can change your life is dedicating 10 minutes a day towards a book that it can prove you in some way because investing in yourself is really the best investment of all because if you're always getting better, chances are your life's always gonna get better. All right guys, my two cents, my rant for today. Check out these other related videos and I'll catch you in the next video.